You know about cosmic meeting places? I recently made a video about this one called the Astral Bazaar. It's a place me and a couple other people I know that have been in their astral dream state. <laughs> if you want to watch a video that's in depth about that, scroll a little bit back on my social medias and it's called the Astral Bazaar. Basically, it is this big meeting hub for different cosmic and etheric beings. You can go there to hire people to do certain things or find things for you. You can barter services. They do community classes. It's a great way to discover new cultures or learn new understandings of esotericism. It's a place that you can consciously teach yourself how to astral project to. Not just in your dreamscape, but also in your waking state as well. It kind of looks like the bazaar that is in Aladdin where he first meets Jasmine. I was just talking to a client and she was asking me, well, how do you barter there with different cosmic and etheric beings? And I said, well, it's important that you're going in with an intention of what you're wanting to receive because that is going to help you find the energetic and vibrational coordinates to be aligned with the person that you are seeking. And then you also having a clear understanding of what you can offer in return, whether that is spiritual gifts or modalities or, again, helping them find something out in the cosmos and the ethers. What I thought was the most interesting in meeting with her was her higher self said, oh, you can actually barter with memories as well. And I was like, what? Because I had never thought of that before. And what she meant by that is Earth is a very unique experience because it's based in physicality, <laughs> in density, and we have a lot of things here that other planetary systems do not. I just made a video about that on fireworks, <laughs> but she used the example of if you have a memory of yourself going on a roller coaster ride or going to Disney World or, or wherever that is, you can share that memory with that cosmic being because how fun is that to learn about different things out in the cosmos and different cultures and different experiences. Or you could read them uh, one of your favorite poems or sing them a song that is from here on earth. You can also, when you're there, get on your phone <laughs> and pull up a song and let it play through your energetic field so they can actually hear it in real time. Or you can tell them a fairy tale or a fable or a nursery rhyme, plain different concepts that we have here on earth, like how ant colonies work. <laughs> Those are types of energy exchanges that you can have. So it doesn't always have to be a spiritual modality that you are bartering with. I wanted to share this in case you're wanting to travel there <laughs> and you want to get support or help with something but maybe we don't know exactly what we're going to offer in return this is some extra ideas and some examples for you i would love to hear in the comments if this unlocked and activated something for you if you're going to try and travel there if you have additional questions remember to give a follow and i hope you have a super magical day